thing. Brady already said he's coming. He's already coming back. Brady already said, he, I, 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 me personally, if I was Brady, I would just retire like on top. Like I this is like, the sunset. I mean, this is like, you. I don't know. You can't really write a better story than this. You know what I mean? You can't really write it. I mean, first year with a new team, first year away from Belichick, played, won a Super Bowl in your home stadium, won your seventh ring, like, you know, age 43 or four, whatever. I mean, it's like, I would just, I mean, next year they might not make it back, you know, and then it's like your contract's up and then you got to like kind of end your career on a sour note or maybe he, I mean, he did say he wanted to play till he's 50. So maybe he just keeps signing one or two year deals until he's 50 years old and he, he does it. If anyone can do it, it's Brady. You know what I'm saying? If anyone could do it, I think yeah. it's Brady. He could do it. But um, he said he's coming back. And honestly, while because the, the salary cap is going to be lower, I don't think they could sign everybody. But yeah. I do think a lot of those guys are going to take less money to stay. Oh, yeah. I think a lot I, of those guys are going to take, take, take less money to stay. And that will help them uh, – in the long run to try to keep this team together and, and try to go back to back. Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, I think the only, uh, the only guy that I would uh, expect to chase after his money uh, is Chris Godwin. He's, he's really the only guy that I'm like, Oh yeah, he's for sure going and getting, if they don't give him a big contract, he's gone because he's been, uh, I believe it's been under a million every, every year since he's been in the league. Um, He's not making money. Uh, I, I, I just, I need to double check it here, um, real quick, but I, I think that he has been, he has not been getting money and I, uh, I think he wants to go get that money. Um, I mean, coming off of the year that he had, I mean, he's, he's the number one wide receiver coming out in free agency. You um, think, you think, Chris, you think Godwin is going to be the number one guy? Oh, for sure. Um, I, you have, uh, him, Will Fuller, uh, Kenny Galladay, Marvin Jones, Corey Davis. I mean, those guys, they're they're really good wide receivers. And, but but I also, they're I, not on his level. I also think, though, there's going to be Allen Robinson and A.J. Brown mm-hmm. are also going to be free agents, if I'm correct, right? I know that Allen Robinson is um, going to be. I don't know if A.J. Brown is a free agent. Um, I don't think he is. But let me just – let me double-check that here real quick. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, he's, he's, still, uh, he's still on contract right now, so – um, it's, it's basically Chris Godwin and, uh, Allen Robinson at the top. I'm thinking, um, okay. but, uh, yeah, I, I think Chris Godwin's more versatile than, uh, Allen Robinson yeah. and he's a lot younger. He's a lot younger um, so, and healthier yeah, so, too. Healthier. Exactly, I know exactly. Robinson has had some, um, some, some injury, uh, uh, plague seasons in the past. Who do you to go boy? Oh.